Hi everyone, welcome to another Chloe tutorial. Today I'm here to show you how to make a background on Chloe. A lot of us don't have experience or are not very familiar with Blender or other softwares to make backgrounds for your photos and videos. So it's nice to know that Chloe can still provide some sort of a background. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do on Chloe to make your photos look prettier, to kind of fill in the gaps because your renders might be good, but sometimes you just kind of miss that plus of a background that you can kind of play with the lighting, have some shadows. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, how to make a background on Clo. Okay, so I have my Clo open here just with a blank new project and I'm just gonna start straight away. This is very simple and you guys can kind of play around later and make your own versions of this. I have a few backgrounds already saved. I can make a file and link this down below for you guys to download this. So I like using this one here. So I just open that, it sits like that. You can change the color of that background. You can make it a leather, plastic, um, glass, anything like that. So I like starting with this background. So it's not like the image continues forever. You can see where the light is gonna hit and maybe gives you a shadow. So it kind of works well with the photos. And then after that, I would go play around with the 3D shapes that you have already in Clo. So I like using this one, this one, and this one to kind of make more walls within the scene. So I'm gonna add this to the workspace. Obviously it's very small here, so if we click on it, we can change the sizing. Let's see what 30 looks like. I should maybe put the model in here so you can have a comparison. Yeah, so you can create like an illusion of different things on the scene. I don't like how large it is on the side, so I'm gonna make that smaller. And then you just kind of place around the scene. You can see already there is a shadow there that is going to show up on your photo. I'm gonna add another one of those. Play around with the sizing again. Maybe make it even bigger. I don't know. You guys can just play around with it. See what you like, what you don't like. I would always leave some space between the object and the background so you can create a shadow. I also don't really like having everything perfectly centered. <laughs> That's just me. Um, but you go, you do you. When it comes to the color and material, it's up to you. I wanna create an identity for my images for Instagram and social media. So I'm keeping on a color palette of oranges, purples, yellow, and then black and white. And I wanna make the scenes all the same color and just have the motto and the outfit as the focus point. This here, I'm gonna make everything orange. I'll maybe just play around with texture. And then the second thing that I experimented with was uh, having like balls on the scene, uh, like plastic balls in a way. So this here as well, I just, I'll link it down below so you guys can have access to it. More as in the middle, in like the middle of the scene to have a contrast with, with the model, I would give this maybe like a shine effect and it'll kind of light it up a little bit be like plasticky kind of balls once the lighting is hitting off of it. And then again, oh no, oh no, I lost everything. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't do that. Never open something, always add something. So yeah, I'm gonna find a project that I already have a background and I'll show you guys how it looks like at the end. Uh, I saved a photo already and I posted on Instagram and I think the results were really, really cool. Uh, and I just made it just the way I showed you guys. I played around with the balls, you can see here, and just did the same with the wall and background. The lighting will make so much difference on your image and your background is not gonna be as boring. Like this is, this is cool. This is the lighting I had on my photos, but you can literally change and it'll be a completely different image. Like, look how cool this is. Like, the ball now gives a shadow. The shadow up there, it gives more dimension. Like, the shadows are just 
so cool. They give a different element to the photo. I, I really love it. I think it makes a huge difference. So yeah, this is one way to make a nice, simple background. I know a lot of people like the more busy, crazy looking backgrounds, but I, I enjoy having something simple, focus on the colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I want to remind you that I do live stream every week, sometimes on Wednesday, sometimes on Thursdays. I would love to know from you guys what is the best day for you to watch a live stream. Please let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!